Hey, what's up guys, Scambiv here, and look at this, we've got the brand new legend, Brian Laudrup Review. He looks freaking awesome to us. I actually really like the look of his card. He comes out originally as a centre forward, and as you can see, 9.2 million was paid for him. That wasn't just me, that was me and a friend. My friend Mark and I went halves on it, and uh, yeah, we're going to lose a lot. In the left, left corner, he had a go with him before me, and in three games, he scored six goals and got one assist. So after that, uh, everything else is completely my record, so that's six games. And uh, as you can see, a bunch of goals and two extra assists. So yeah, he actually had a decent record. And I have to say, for a centre forward, he's a goal scorer. He's scoring plenty of goals, which is what I liked. And his dribbling is its incredible. His dribbling is absolutely insane. And you'll see that when we get into the uh, in-game clips. But looking at the stats, as you can see, he's got some uh, decent strength attributes. But uh, one thing I want to talk about, you saw there, 71 balance. He didn't hit the deck once, which impressed me so much because his strength, although it was didn't feel that great in game, did get shoved around a bit. He never fell down for me. He was always stayed on his feet, and uh, that was actually pretty good to see. 84 finishing on his card as well, and this is nothing I need to point out. High low work rates. Yeah, his position for me was a bit off, and he wasn't making. A lot of runs in which I'd like him to be, especially for someone who's got high low work rates. I did expect him to be a bit more attacking, but what you're going to see in the clips, he's got some ridiculous ball control, really good dribbling, and the combination of the pace, the dribbling, the ball control, it just made him he made him a deadly player and a really good centre forward. I do want to speak about the long shots. He's very inconsistent. Like Half the time, the ball will even lift off the floor, which is a bit annoying, but when it does, it's going for that top corner, which is absolutely awesome to see. And you can see from the clips, his dribbling is really, really good. When it comes to finishing, I don't really know what I preferred because his finesse was sometimes really, really off, but um, the shot power, was it was the same really, but uh, you know, you give him enough chances, he will score. But I've got to remember, he was playing in the centre forward position and he was scoring some great goals, as you can see in the clips, which is uh, really good to see. The shot power is great as well. I do like that a lot. But I do find a lot of legends do have great shot power. But this guy, for me, all about the dribbling. The dribbling and the pace, as I've said before numerous times in this review, was just great. Really fun player to use. And because he's in that centre forward position, I felt like I could, I could use him a lot more just for that dribbling. Look at this. Good support player. He's got the pace to pull away from the defence. And how about that? The only time he fell over, slips over, and he puts it in the net for me. I cannot complain of that at all. Makes a good run there, out wide. Cuts inside very nicely. Does his defender, and he ain't going to miss from there. Stays on his feet. Look at that battling. He stayed on his feet. That was awesome to see. Positive about this guy. His pace, dribbling, and ball control. I've spoke about it numerous times throughout this review. It's incredible. And he, he actually made him feel like a legend. Some legends don't feel that great with their stats, but this guy did. His dribbling was awesome. Really liked his balance, as I said, and the shot power was good to see. I didn't put his finishing in either side, to be honest, because I did find it to be a bit inconsistent, which was a bit annoying. Sometimes he just shoots straight at the keeper, which uh, was a bit annoying, but he does create a lot of chances for himself. Uh, with him being a centre forward, you probably did expect more assists, but because he's got such high dribbling, I do feel that most people will agree with me. When you pick up the ball with him, you want to use him, you want to run with him, use that dribbling, use that pace, and uh, yeah, so pretty much he was more of a goal scorer than uh, someone who's setting up goals for me. The things that let him down were his long shots. I do like strikers, uh, just any attackers really that can long shot. Didn't feel that his long shots were that great, and the positioning. Sometimes he stayed in midfield, which was a bit annoying, but it does need to bear in mind that he was playing as a centre forward. I do feel he could play all positions like cam, centre forward, and striker, but um, yeah, overall, really fun player to use. Dribbling was awesome, and that's going to be the end of the review. If you leave a like this video, that would be absolutely awesome. Comment below what is your favourite legend this year's Ultimate Team. Have a good day, guys. Team D on Monday. Adios.